All right, so we're live. Um, if you were following us earlier, we went through one of those technical issues again, right when we were getting into some good information. So we had to start the video over. This was our last topic for this morning. So I owe it to the audience to finish this. Now, I don't expect anybody to show up, but the video will be on the channel for others to see. This video is about Leota Bradshaw and what is happening in the Philip Paulwell, Leota Bradshaw case where Philip Paulwell's young daughter, 10-month-old Soraya Paulwell, was kidnapped alongside her mother and they were both murdered. As we start right now, this is an update to that story. There's some new information that tells us exactly who played what role in the kidnapping and murder and the orchestration of the planning phase, etc. And it also tells us something else about the mind of Leota Bradshaw. Shout out to the people who are returning. I'm going to say it again. I just had to cuss out my service provider, which is Spectrum. I told you all earlier, right, that I was here watching the Super Bowl, having a Super Bowl party with my family, and our, our internet went out in the Super Bowl as Super Bowl was going to halftime. You could imagine you have a party of people gathered to enjoy an event, and suddenly you're, I pay my bills, right? So I shouldn't be getting short service. So I had to call them and cuss them out just now. They're going to send a tech over in the next two hours to figure out what is going on with my service because this ain't the first time it's done it. And then it just did it again this morning. So this is the last story for the morning. This piece of live won't be long. This will probably be about 15, 20 minutes just to get into this or so on. And then after that, we will call it a day. All right. Putting my glasses on again just to protect my eyes from these big old box lights that are bright and we'll get into the details so leota bradshaw director of public prosecution let's start out with paula llewellyn as i was saying before dpp paula llewellyn has announced that her office has already served the death penalty notice to david smith david smith is one of the guys involved in this case with leota bradshaw David Smith is the alleged trigger man. Everybody in this points to David as the killer. He's the shooter. He's the one that did the killing, right? And Jamaica wants justice. Department of Public Prosecution, Paul Llewellyn has served the death penalty to him, informing him that he will be facing the death penalty for this. Now, keep in mind, Jamaica death penalty didn't go anywhere. It's on the books. It is up to them if they want to use it or not. All right. Um, Yvonne Wallace says, so she can be quick when she wants to be. I'm having problems with Spectrum as well. So flow. Spectrum sucks, pussy galore. They suck. I just cussed the man out. I said, pardon me and no disrespect, but this is the shittiest service ever. And I pay my bills on time. And I'm sure if I wasn't paying my bills that you guys would cut my service. So why should I have to settle for shitty service that I'm paying you for? You know what I mean? And, and internet, and, it, internet and cable is expensive. Our bill for that is $250 a month. You understand? So you, you shouldn't be giving me that kind of service. But I don't want to take that out on my audience. We want to keep the momentum going. So we'll keep it going. So... Uh, the alleged trigger man has been implicated. Everybody in this group is pointing to him as the killer in this murder for hire plot that claimed the life of 10 month old Soraya Paulwell and her mother, 27 year old Tashina Patterson. You know, again, here we go, right? Tashina Patterson is 27 years old. Philip Paulwell, again, is in his 60s. That age dynamic. Is something that's crazy. But I didn't have any pro I didn't see any problems with their relationship, as in, you know, she she must know that she was a side woman because everybody knows of the woman that Paul Well was with. And it's just one of those things. Tech people, man, that's a part of our culture. 
Yeah, you want him, me want him to. So I guess we have to go share him, especially if it's a high value man. High value as in he is worth a lot in dollars and cents, whether it's through his position that he holds in society or whatever the case may be. Me see them do that for Brockman, who don't own nothing. So you can imagine for somebody who is a sitting member of parliament and a prominent politician over a part of Jamaica that is coveted even now in the election race because that is part of his constituency what JLP, PMP over there fighting over. Now, Soraya was the daughter of Member of Parliament of East Kingston and Port Royal, Philip Paulwell. The notice was served to Smith that he would be facing the death penalty, and he and four accused appeared in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston yesterday. His co-accused, Leota Bradshaw, she's the U.S. Navy petty officer who was stationed in Florida who has been in a relationship with Philip Paulwell for quite some time, a number of years, and she describes herself as Philip Paulwell's wife, even though they are not married on paper, and with whom they share a daughter. Bradshaw's cousin, Roland Balfour, also another person. Bajorn Black is also another person involved. And they are all charged with various offenses relative to the overall crime, including murder and kidnapping. Bradshaw, however, she's the only one who is accused of and is facing two counts of capital murder in the matter. It strikes me as weird that DPP... Paula Llewellyn said she's looking for the death penalty and she has served notice on who they think the trigger man is. But the person and the only person in this who is facing double capital murder, the death penalty is not directed towards her. And I'm wondering if this has something to do with the U.S. Navy stepping in and overseeing certain aspects of this. I told you all before, she is government property for the U.S., right? That's what GI means, right? Government issued. That's what you become once you sign up for the military. She is full active duty. She is government property. The, the, the least the Navy is going to do, the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Army, U.S., any branch of military is not going to just leave one of their personnel flagging out there in the wind in some foreign country. They need to know that there is justifiable reason for what she's going through right now. And they will also be see watching this whole thing unfold to make sure that it is handled fairly. They're not going to turn their back on this. Did she pull the trigger? Is what BM is asking. Watch these details that are about to come out now. Bradshaw, however, is the only one accused of two capital counts of murder in the matter. In a shocking development in court, the prosecution revealed that while the killers were at the scene, Smith, the one who they just served notice for the death penalty, the one thought to be the trigger man, while he was at the scene, he used his cell phone to send pictures of the deceased mother and the baby to Leoda Bradshaw's phone at her request. So, not only did she orchestrate it, she wanted to see how it was done, so it was done to her specifications. Now, that answers your question, did she pull the trigger? No. She didn't pull the trigger. She wasn't at the scene. She orchestrated it, paid down partial payment for it to be done. Her cousin was the one who pretty much followed through, got the people together, brought out his cousin's wishes, right? Um, but the part that she would want to see who wants to see a 10-month-old with a gunshot wound to her head? Right. 
she wanted to see. Now, her being in the military, I would think, especially she's a petty officer, I would think that she knew something about technology at this point. It's 2024, right? 2023, they did it. December. It's 2024. So 2023, December, we're up to time with technology. I would think that she would be using her common sense to say that anything that goes into the air can be pulled back out of the air, so to speak. She wanted to make sure. And you know, when you're overcome with jealousy, you're, you, some, some emotions you know, are so powerful. You see, greed, greed will make people kill people. Envy, we just talk, talk about that the other morning. Envy will make people kill people. Hate will make people kill people. We all know this. We've seen what the world has become because of hate. We've seen the atrocities happen because of hate. Greed, envy, hate, jealousy will make people kill people. Leona Bradshaw is stationed in the U.S. Her man is a prominent politician, seated member of parliament in Jamaica. She is serving active duty in the U.S. There's no way you could be there. This, this relationship is not a wake up every morning, kiss my man, I love you, babe, off to work we go, see you later when we come home, have dinner together. This is somebody you virtually almost never see unless them do face-to-face -face time with technology and all that. So I think she flew into a rage when she realized that this man have somebody locally while I'm stuck here in the military. Because if anybody who knows anything about the military, you don't go anywhere unless the military sends you there when you are on duty, when you're on active duty, right? So she can't just get up and leave. And she's in the U.S., he's in Jamaica, so it's not like she could be like, I'm going to sneak away and sneak off base and go see my honey boo-boo real quick and come back. He in a whole different country. So the rage that she developed when she realized Somebody pinch her and say, yo, you know, say, one girl at Jamaica have one man, one picnic for your man, you know. And she's like, what, what you mean, picnic for my man? Philip, Philip have baby with one girl, so and so. And she's like, what? Tell me a who. Let, let me see. Found the Facebook page and saw the baby. We all seen the baby. The baby looked like Philip Paulwell's twin, right? More rage. Jealousy, you know, when you can't see it before, you actually can see it. Yeah. So more rage, more jealousy. How dare him? How dare she? She must know about me. Them dirty girl, yeah, take them love, take people, man. She a look for a step up in her life, a come up in her life. I am a member of the U.S. Navy. I'm a petty officer on duty in Florida. Some local girl, when I have nothing to go on with herself and for herself. Philip is a prominent politician. We're making this power couple family. Who is this little bitch? And then that's where it started. From the moment she spoke to her on social media and the girl block her, it enraged her even more. It was less than 24 hours from being blocked that she was in Jamaica. Yeah. Less than, tw oh, you're not going to talk to me. Okay. On my way. I remember she was saying, I'm going to sue anybody. My lawyers are on it. If you have anything to say about this, that, and the other. And I'm telling you right now, I've never spoken to that woman before. Blah, blah, blah. I just found out today about her existence and a baby. Just like you guys are finding out about it. And remember that? And we were saying, well, she's all the way in the U.S. How could she? I mean, she probably don't have anything to do with it. Right? And then it all started unfolding. She's Jamaican by nationality. She born and raised Jamaican and then go overseas. So she have people on the ground that she's close to who she can say, yo, cuz, here what? This and this are going. May I come in tomorrow, you know? She probably signed in for emergency leave. Boom. Jumped on the first thing smoking and was there in Jamaica. And it showed also how meticulously she dropped in at the place with military precision, gathered her troops, her little team, plot, plan. Scoped out within the same hours of her landing in Jamaica, a few hours later, they were scoping out the house, the place where the baby mother live with the baby and orchestrating how to lure her out of the house into the vehicle and take her away. You understand? So now it's alleged that Black was the one that provided the illegal firearm to Smith. Smith is the one who the death penalty has been served against. Trigger man. Black 
gave him the gun, which the latter, which is Smith, then used to kill the mother and the child. In case you're wondering, well, how them know all that? Well, Black is talking. Ballistics is talking also. Smith was apprehended last month, while Black was arrested in December of last year on firearms-related offenses that had nothing to do with this case. That illegal firearm, which was taken from Black when he was arrested by the police for something that had nothing to do with this case, is the weapon that was used to kill little Soraya and her mother, ballistic evidence proves. So, how you end up with the murder weapon where kill the little girl, Philip Paul, where pick me and baby mother? Well, here we are going. Come in and take this by myself, you know. So, I give a youth named Smith, see? I me lend the gun and him rent out the gun and him use the gun to do the work and thing and bring back my strap. And yeah, me have it palm me and catch me with it. Come in and take the double murder there. And me do that. Right. Right there. Right. All right. Smith was apprehended last month as well, etc., etc. The legal firearm which was taken from Black when he was arrested by the police. Smith was apprehended last month. The, leg the illegal firearm was taken from Black when he was arrested by the police. And it is confirmed to be the weapon that killed the mother and the child. This was confirmed by ballistic testing already. So this is not a guessing thing. According to Paula Llewellyn in her address to the courts on Wednesday, yesterday, during court proceedings as well, Supreme Court Judge Justice Vinnett Graham Allen ordered the Legal Aid Council consider assigning two senior attorneys to represent Smith and Black because Smith and Black don't have attorneys. Leota Bradshaw has attorneys. She has two. And Balfour, her cousin, I think has attorneys. But the trigger people look like them can't afford attorneys. So according to the law, you know, if you can't afford an attorney, one will be appointed unto you. When them read you your Miranda rights, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed unto you. Right, that's all. So they have been, the judges now ordering that two senior attorneys be appointed to them. This is going to be at the state's um, expense, taxpayers of Jamaica expense. The judge said that the attorneys to be assigned must have legal experience in excess of six years due to the technical nature of this case. We don't want any newcomers. We need seasoned, experienced attorneys to deal with this. Honestly, Usually, them would have just throw you two attorney, two newcomers. In the U.S., we have something that says you can look at your attorney and tell if you're going to prison or not, or jail or not, if you don't have a paid attorney and the state gives you one. Because if him come in there with him booty lean, his belt is missing, his pants is sagging, and him have on a crush-up shirt with a tie around it, you know, say him just wake up out of bed, probably some guy that just finished law school, hasn't been admitted to any law firms yet, hasn't built up a resume to have client yet, and this is how he's scratching for his dollars. They basically hang around the courthouse and see who need an attorney, who need an attorney, and the state pays him and say, okay, take this one because he don't have an attorney, and the government will pay you for this case. All right, give it to me. So those are the ones that usually come in and tell you stuff like, boy, and I think they got some strong evidence against you. you know, you I, I think it's best for you to plea, um, plea guilty and take a plea deal, right? Because they, in their best interest, them want it done fast so they can go pick up their paycheck, pay their bills, and move on to somebody else who's in a similar position. Whereas if you have money and you pay an attorney like Beachy Stout, your case can last six months long and you have five attorneys who are representing you and two representing your co-accused, seven attorneys on your case who will fight for everything they say, them have a rebuttal for it. These two guys, the one caught with the gun, who told who he gave the gun to, I'm saying, nah, take this a double murder charge, and not this a high-profile case here. Here, here. I him me give the gun to. 
and then ballistic come back and then everybody point him and say, yeah, him are the killer. Right. There's also another person in this who said, yes, I was the one that drove them there. I was the one that pick up the mother and the daughter and pick up the gunman and drive them to the location of the killing. I just didn't stay for the killing. Right. So them know. Now, all four accused persons were remanded in custody. And if you're wondering, the next time they will be before the judge will be June 13th, 2024, hot summer. Two other men confessed to their roles in the murder for hire plot. Those two other men's, men did so November of last year. Remember last year I was saying, so how come everybody confessed already, but nobody confessed to actually pulling the trigger? Who pulled the trigger? Come me want to know who pulled the trigger. Because everybody was saying, well, I was there for the planning part, and I introduced A to B, and I drive two of them go up there, so, but me not have nothing to do with the killing. So I was like, is Jamaica going to let everybody in this get off by copying a plea saying, I was a part of the planning, but not a part of the killing. No justice is going to be served. But lo and behold, them catch a man who don't have nothing to do with the... Sometimes, you know, you have to big up the JCF, you know, sometime, one time, them do them good thing, you know. You speak bad about them when they're not doing their job. So when they are doing their job, you have to give it up to them, man. Because, look, look, this is... Jam and, and I'm wondering, too, if only because this is a high-profile case and it has something to do with a sitting member of parliament, why it was so effective because this drop like domino effect bang 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 you catch a man that not have nothing to do with this case upon a gun charge and it said that he already had other charges is somebody known to the system and one time them bring him in and the gun the ballistics from that gun came back to this case as the murder weapon and he now says not taking it I know I ain't supposed to be snitching and all that, but frig that, because me not got prison for no double murder. Me never do that. Me tell you who me get the gun, and I him do it. Right. And it ended right there. Now, the two men that pled guilty last year, one of the men, name was Richard Brown, and he was sentenced to 30 years behind bars on each of the two counts of murder. So he was really sentenced to 60 years. Watch how Jamaica does this. He was sentenced to 60 years, right? The sentences were to run concurrent. Meaning, he will only be sentenced to 30. And then, on that 30 year sentence, the stipulation is that he must serve 20 before he is eligible for parole. In a gruesome, ugly case like this. Remember, I you know, a 35 or 34 them get cartel before he's eligible for parole. Them people here, 20 before he's eligible for parole. The other convict, Roshane Miller, he received, he pled guilty as well, and he received a sentence, get this, of seven years and ten months in prison for two counts of accessory before the fact of murder along with other offenses. So he was the one that said, I was there when they were planning it. So I'm guilty of not warning anybody it was going to happen. That's why he got accessory before the fact. I wasn't there when it was carried out. And I have no part to do with the murder part. But I was there in the planning phase of it. I was, I, And he actually said I was also the one who took the money, the payment from Leoda, and brought it to the killers. So this is your, this is your done payment, get the job done. When it's done, you get the other half. That was his role. And for that role in this, which I feel like him should have get 32, if you're going to give 30, since that's where y'all are at, they gave the man 7 years and 10 months. He'll be out in no time. During the hearing on Wednesday, the prosecution outlined some fresh details in the case. Here are the fresh details. Little Soraya and her mother, they were kidnapped from their Gilmore Drive, St. Andrew home by individuals on September 9th of last year. Then they were taken to Stony Hill, 
So September is not September. Also in St. Andrew, before being driven to East Kingston, where they were shot and killed and their bodies were burnt. Leo de Bradshaw is the mastermind behind the murder for hire plot. It didn't say, we're guessing she might be. It says, Leo de Bradshaw is. Well, is the alleged. They have to use alleged because court case is still going on. Just like how we said, Beach is stout allegedly until you're found guilty, right? The, the, the evidence has to stand up in court and paint, paint the case. So Bradshaw is the alleged mastermind behind the murder for hire plot. And the murder contract was for 500,000 Jamaican dollars. And she had paid 100,000 up front, not even half. So, you know how we do about this time, all the time, right? We go to Google and we ask Google, say, how much is 100,000 Jamaican dollars in US dollars? And the answer is. Jamaican dollars equals 643 United States dollars and seven cents. So for 643 US dollars, a mother and her child were kidnapped, shot execution style, and burnt to pieces. Her cousin, Balfour, 30-year-old assistant graphic designer of a Kingston address, has been charged with two counts of conspiracy to murder, two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping, and misprison of a felony, which, which means he knew about it but didn't say anything. Accord, but he's not charged with murder. According to the prosecution, Balfour was the accused who allegedly scouted Miller, Brown, Black, and Smith. Balfour is the one that line up everybody to execute Bradshaw's crazy plan. Don't you think that Balfour should be charged accordingly or given the same amount at 30 years or whatever they're giving? It is further alleged. I think Balfour and Leoda should both be facing capital murder charges. Both of them. Because she come up with the plan and he executed every inch of it. It's further alleged. It's further alleged that Black provided the firearm that was used in the grizzly killing and that he accompanied the other men to the crime scene. So Black, who said, who we said they found with the gun on a separate charge that had nothing to do with this case, it has come out that Black did give them the gun, submit the gun to do the crime, but Black was there. He accompanied them to the crime scene. Following their shooting, so when time them did, I said, we know which part of the body they were getting certain information from one of the individuals that was arrested on a separate charge that has to be Black. So Black was the one that probably drove them, the, the authorities, May I carry on to go up there to show on the right which part the body them there. Black did that. And told them everything else too. Smith pulled the trigger. Him, me get the gun. I take back my gun from him after I do it. I guess we're going to split the money. So for 600 and something US dollars. 600 and something US dollar. That's why you have to be careful now in a man, especially now if you're with beautiful Jamaica there, because it don't cost much. It don't cost much. Following their shooting and the sending of the photographs of the bodies of Bradshaw's to Bradshaw's cell phone by Smith, after they sent the, the pictures of the baby and the mom dead, they put the bodies together and they burnt them. On December 20th of 2023, Black was charged by the police with offenses under the new Firearm Act days after his arrest. Those charges he's facing are possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and dealing in a prohibited weapon. Nothing about murder, nothing about conspiracy to murder, none of that. That case is progressing 
in the gun court division of the Home Circuit Court in Jamaica, which is a separate case from this case. Black was subsequently charged with eight criminal offenses that are rel relative to the double murder on January 12th of 2024. He is charged with two counts of murder now, two counts of kidnapping now, two counts of conspiracy to murder now, and two counts of conspiracy to kidnapping now as well. This is where the case rests for now. And again, they will pick up again summertime where they will be before a judge once again, which is June, right? June 13th of 2024. So until then, we will look forward to that. What was puzzling to me was that Paula Llewellyn had said she will fight tooth and nail to make sure that no information is released to the public concerning any more deals that are made behind the scenes. So I'm willing to bet that... Watch and see the video I, I released later on today. All right? We're going to leave it here this morning. I'm glad y'all came back to hear the rest of this. I appreciate you greatly. Thank you for coming back and understanding that some things happen that is not just, you know, it's out of our control. We no control uh, Spectrum or FPL, Florida Power and Light, JPS, if we there, Jamaica. When light gone, it gone, right? That's this kind of thing. So big up to Ono. Thank you. I appreciate you greatly. I pray for justice in this case, and that's the most I, I can say. Um, it's sickening. It's sickening. It's sickening the way how it was done. And it's sickening to see that somebody involved with this already walked away with just seven years. It's sickening. So let's hope real justice is actually served in this case. There are many more street talk out there. Like, is the politician man a PFR lawyer, you know? She go get a top lawyer. She not get much time behind bars neither because he going to use him position as member of parliament and pull strings for her and all that. We don't know. We'll stay with it and we'll unveil everything when it comes to fruition. All right? Have a wonderful day, people. Be careful out there. We're going to see how mankind is when we cover all these types of stories. Watch your front. Watch your head back. Watch the company you keep. Be careful. Do good deeds so you sow good seeds. So good karma reach you and yours. One love. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Morning Thoughts. God bless. I'm out. Peace.